Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special pain. Tonight we're doing the most requested rum on the show ever. <sighs> so much. So uh, we're here doing a bamboo rum. Bamboo. It's a authentic Caribbean rum, masterfully blended and uh, by hand from the island rums and native spices chosen across the West Indies. I mean, it sounds like a party. Bamboo. It's based on a 16th century recipe. It's craft in every sip. Product of Barbados. To, to be fair, most alcohol is based off a really old recipe because it's alcohol. Like, the various kinds of alcohol are all based off the same recipes this from is forever ago. easily probably one of the most expensive rums I've ever bought. Oh, yeah? Now, I got it on sale for 24 bucks, but it's normally $40 for a bottle of rum. <laughs> so, I like the cork. I like the bottle. It's fancy. Yeah, I, I like the cork has been like, is that burned in? Yeah, it's burned in. And it's yeah, a real, yeah, real cork, can... too. Feel the ridges from the from the the brand. It's rich for her pleasure. Okay. <sighs> Be a man. <sighs> yeah. That, that was satisfying, actually. That looked satisfying. Oh, I smell that from here. That was nice. I like the uh, the the color on the bottle too. It pours nice. Ooh, I can smell that from here. Right, it's very distinctive. That is the most vanilla y rum I've ever smelled in my Holy life. Holy cow, yeah, it's just vanilla. From this from this far away, it just smells like vanilla extract, like a bottle. Ooh, somebody poured vanilla extract into my cup. Uh, vanilla and barrel. What's that underlining smell? It smells familiar and I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Simple syrup? It does smell like vanilla extract specifically. I'm not saying they might use real vanilla in it, but because it's alcohol and vanilla extract's alcohol, those two together, they can smell like. Uh, mm. There's extract. there's something very very sweet in it's this. Like Dr Pepper a little bit. It smells like Dr Pepper a little bit. Dr one those, Pepper one vanilla. One of those like 23 flavors. However many flavors. Dr Pepper are in vanilla. Dr. Pepper. That's what it smells like. Dr Pepper vanilla. Color. This is much more vanilla y though. Uh, it's pretty dark for rum. It's that color. This it's a clear bottle, man. This isn't a black rum by any means. Um, uh, but it is a pretty dark rum. It's definitely a spiced rum, however. It also does not have an age statement on it, which it's kind of annoying that nothing does that anymore. Like, uh, it's, it's not necessary. You could do all kinds of weird things with, with acoustics and just. There are lots of methods for fast uh, for fast aging stuff do, now. Gotta do Metallica and play. play, play uh, <laughs> Different, you know, Metallica songs uh, to, to sonically infuse uh, there's, alcohol. The there's barrels. stuff that you can do with alcohol now to age it so much faster. I know a lot of people don't like that. They don't like the, the, the idea that you can take any alcohol and age it in a matter of weeks and make it taste like it's been aging for years. Yeah, there's been an argument in the comments that I want to point out. People are, a lot of people are like, one or two people are like, you don't drink rum straight. I'm like, I know a ton of people who drink rum straight. <laughs> You're wrong. I do drink rum straight. I know a Watch. ton of people who drink rum straight. Very smoky and vanilla. -y. It's it's weird. Yeah, you don't smell the smoke, but it's very smoky. Well, vanilla and then smoke. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a very unique rum. Mm. It's very good, straight. Um, it would be a good mixer. It would be a good straight. Uh, I think this with a few ice cubes. It'd be a good shot. I think like, you could just pull this off a shelf and drink it. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's the original. I wonder if they have other other uh, varieties. The smokiness is nice. I like the smokiness. It's very... Um, it's just vanilla smoke and then a tiny, a tiny bit of woodiness. But it's a very good rum. It's it's very unique. I've never had a rum that this much vanilla and this much smokiness in it before. Mm -hmm. At least a regular um, rum. Uh, do you like it? That is really nice. Like it's just it's, and it has the right amount of alcohol bite. I agree. I, I that's kind of a strange thing to say, but I do expect when I'm having something straight, when I'm having something as a a room temperature spirit. I need it to have a little bit of an alcohol bite. Like I don't want it to be like uh, like Four Roses small batch, and it's just like very sweet, very mellow, very very not sharp. So I need it to have a little bit of an alcohol bite to it. A couple things with this rum. This would be good to make uh, sweets. 
you're making some kind of chocolatey sweet <laughs> thing. Oh, rum. Yes. Rum, rum infused brownies. Yes. Even if you're gonna make those uh, chocolate infused, like take a chocolate and fill it with just rum. Just, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. Like those little bottles. Yeah, yeah. We did, we did those random, those, little, those really little. gross ones we found at a really gross gas station <laughs> that we ate. <laughs> Those little confections that have a little bit of a, of a, a mousse in the middle that's been infused with rum. So anyway, we got it for a good deal. 25 bucks, I, I think that's fine for this. I mean, that's, I'd Absolutely. say it's a steal. I would say it's a steal for this level of I would, rum. I would definitely pay another $25 for another bottle of that. I almost don't want to put Coke in this. Like, I almost don't want to put... Rum and Coke. Things. I know, but I just... Are the Holy Twins. So let's rate this straight. Uh, even at forty dollars, I don't think that's overpriced um, for this rum. Um, at least for the quality, twenty-five is a steal. Mm. Uh, it's a nine. I would have a hard it's time true. paying forty dollars for this, but that's just because I'm a cheap, angry man. Um, nah, this is a nine. It's a nine I'm, rum. Yeah, no, it's it has to be a nine, uh, especially if you can find it for for what I paid for thirty dollars. Yeah. Uh, if you can find this for $30, you are literally robbing whoever you're buying this from. Because they could alternatively, instead of selling it to you, they could drink it themselves. So, on the nose, it smells like vanilla Coke, and you get a little smokiness in it. So, smoky vanilla Coke. But there's no alcohol in there. You get a little more wood in there, too. Oh, yeah. See, oh, my goodness. Just the little tiny amount of Coke that I put in this turned the alcohol flavor off. It killed the alcohol flavor. It brings 100%. more wood out too, by the way. You get a yes. lot more wood. Uh, this is now something that could be potentially really dangerous to drink. Like, you could you could do... I don't know. I didn't even put... This is not even 50-50. I put like a third... Splash. The amount of Coke. Yeah, just a splash of Coke in this. And now it does not taste like an alcoholic beverage. It tastes like... It doesn't taste like a soft drink, but it uh, doesn't taste alcoholic. 9.5. It's mixer. Go in there. I'm doing it. I think I'm still going to keep it at a 9. I, I like it uh, as, a mixed, as a mixed drink, but it also kind of makes me want to not drink it as a mixed drink. Like, I remember what so, it was like as a, as a straight drink, and now I want more of that. So, in my opinion, to make this a 10... Like straight, uh, it needs slightly more wood, in my opinion, just slightly. Mm -hmm. Like if even they did like a double oak or something, slightly more wood, um, and the availability would be better. If those two things were together, I would give it a ten, every bit of it. If they could hold the price down to like thirty dollars, yeah, like like top end MSRP thirty dollars, thirty four bucks. Uh, that would be. Twenty eight dollars. That would be a ten. I would 100%. Anytime I saw this, if I didn't already have a bottle, I'd grab a bottle. 100%. It's good shit. Mm -hmm. sure. Fuzzy's got experience this in his mouth. <laughs> He's not going to know what to do with himself. He's our rum expert. He loves it. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.